everybody, welcome back to the shop. Um, today we're going to sharpen the old chisels. Uh, it's been a couple of years since we had a grind on these bad boys. So uh, I'm going to uh, show you what I do to maintain them. See that one's pretty bad look. Someone must have borrowed that. Um, so we're going to see how I, uh, I keep them sharp, uh, keep them maintained and what I do as a sort of daily sharpen if I need to use them for anything that's uh, quite critical and uh, then what I do periodically to uh, maintain the bevel or the grind on the chisels. So you can see they're all pretty worse for wear, they've been on site for uh, a couple of weeks and um, they've been hand sharpened quite a few times so you can see that uh, secondary bevel is getting quite deep and quite hard to uh, resharpen by hand so it's time they all had a bit of a grind, um, get them back to a nice sharp edge and uh, we'll put a secondary bevel on. So uh, let's get started. I've grabbed my Tormek out. This is a T7. This is what I normally use to uh, grind the chisels when I'm in the workshop. Um, I'll show you a method of grinding your chisels back so the bevel's at the angle you want using the Tormek, and I'll show you how I used to do it before I had the Tormek. Um, it's a bit cheaper option with a, an older style grinder that's not gonna cost you a couple of hundred quid. I've had this bad boy about uh, 10 years now, it's definitely showing signs of wear. Uh, it's been sat in the workshop, but where the, the iron filings from the chisels and the water's sat, it's actually starting to rust the edge of the body. Uh, so if you're going to buy a, a T7, the newer ones are probably a better shout, where they're all made of aluminium rather than the steel, because uh, this one is starting to rust and uh, fall to bits a bit. So uh, other than that, it's a pretty good machine. So what I do when I uh, come to use it, this is how it stays in the workshop. So the tray's left dry and uh, just like this. So uh, you'll have to fill the tray up with water. So I normally fill the tray up and turn it on. Go to this line here, there's a little ridge in the, uh, in the tray that tells you when it's full. Um, absorbs that water and it disappears. So you usually have to fill it up a second time. Just, just for the line, and uh, that's normally enough. It won't absorb more than that, and uh, that's enough to keep grinding for the uh, session. Once done that, uh, you want to get the square edge jig. This jig came with the machine. It's pretty much all I've used with the Tormek. Uh, I'm not too fussy with uh, all the different jigs and stuff that's involved with these. Um, but yeah, there's a square edge jig. You just push the chisel up to the edge of the uh, square edge there, it's got like a machined housing. So you push it up to that, tighten it off on this one, and then just a half turn or so on that and it uh, pinches it up against this surface nice and flat. And then you slide it onto the rail and uh, let it sit down on the stone. Got this handy little jig here that will tell you, uh, well you look at the diameter of the stone on the uh, machine here and then set this side to that setting and then uh, look at the bevel that you want on your grind. So you want a 25 degree bevel and then you just reference off this bit of plastic here against the stone like this. So set this, um, this rail here so that there isn't a light gap behind that piece of plastic and that should give you a 25 degree bevel. you can see what I'm doing there. So I'm just adjusting the height wheel on the back here. See there's a, it's quite a, it's a sharper bevel there now so I just drop it down until that light bevel or light gap disappears and we're at the correct bevel then. If it's quite a critical chisel you're using um, you can paint the back of the bevel of the chisel with like a black ink marker and just give it a couple of turns like this, take it off and you can look at that on the back, see where it's grounded. If it's touching the heel, you want to raise it slightly, and if it's touching the toe, lower it. But uh, that's how I just get the bevel that I want, and then uh, just go ahead and grind it away. There is a uh, stone here that comes with the Tormek. 
that will allow you to do a fine grind and a rough grind. So I'm just going to dress the uh, top surface of the stone for a rough grind because we're uh, just taking away the material to get that bevel back. Okay, so you can see on this edge here now, um, we virtually took the bevel back to the edge. Um, it's just going to be a case of uh, going a bit further to remove them chips because this chisel is quite bad. Add a bit more water because it's soaked it up. Almost there, look, you can see uh, the bevel's pretty flat. On this side, you've just got a small um, couple of chips here. Another 20 seconds or so, and we'll uh, be about there. So you can see we're about there now. That bevel's uh, nice and square all the way across and uh, we pretty much took that chip out. So that's the bevel ground. Now I'll just uh, touch the edge of the stone against uh, this face of the chisel to keep it nice and flat and then we'll go to a finished grind. Okay, so hopefully you can see the camera's been a bit uh, weird with the focusing, but uh, the edge there is uh, is nice and square, no chips in it, and we've got a perfect bevel all the way across with a nice flat face here. That's as far as I go with the uh, Tormek, so um, saying even expensive grinder's not really the case. Uh, you could do that on almost any sort of wet grinding system, so you can get some bench grinders that have a wet wheel and you can build a fence off it uh, that will hold your chisel at the right angle and get that grind without spending too much money. And you can even use a piece of emery paper on a piece of glass or a piece of board and uh, create a jig just to uh, hold the chisel nice and square and grind that edge back to that the position we're in now. So plenty of ways to do that uh, that are pretty cheap. That's nothing to do with the sharpening, that's just grinding the chisel to the bevel we want. So I've gone for quite a shallow bevel at 25 degrees um, because it allows you to, to get a nice angle with the secondary bevel which is your cutting edge. Now to uh, put the finish edge on I've got a uh, relatively cheap uh, diamond stone here. I think it's a six, it's six inch by two inch uh, DMT dial sharp in fine. Um, it's about perfect to be honest for uh, on site and workshop. It can get the chisel to uh, sharpness that it will shave the hand or, or you can shave with it. So that's sharp enough for woodworking or the woodworking that I'm doing. So uh, it's the perfect stone. Uh, being diamond, it keeps the chisel nice and flat. And uh, yeah, it just, just lasts forever. It's perfect. So we want a tiny bit of water on here. So just start off with, I'll take the, uh, the, ed the back edge of the chisels, so the flat face and just, just work it a little bit, get that nice and sharp or nice and polished, you should see it sort of working to the edge here of the chisel, so you can see that on the camera. Once you've done that I like to uh, just feel for the, the bevel, so the 25 degree bevel that we've got, it's around there and just lift it up the narrowest amount you can, so you don't want to lift it up too much for a start because um, then every time you sharpen it from then on you've got to maintain or go a bit further than that to create a new edge. So first time you sharpen these chisels um, after you've ground them you want to keep it almost on that bevel just slightly raised and you don't need to do much at all it's sort of five or six uh, cuts forward and backwards and then just 
as you progress just get lighter and lighter with the downward pressure you're putting on the stone until it's almost just the chisel, the weight of the chisel against the stone. So it's just very finely polishing the edge so you're not putting any downward pressure, you're just, uh, just working that edge very slightly. I always push the, just run your hand or a leather strop after you've done that over the edge down towards the face and then come onto the stone in a forward motion so that any burrs get cut off forwards and you create a nice clean edge. And then just again polish this, this back edge and just go a couple of times very gently so find your bevel, lift it up very slightly and just go forward a couple of times from both angles and then that should be enough to uh, sharpen your chisel to uh, an edge that is uh, good enough. You don't need to put a massive two, three mil secondary bevel on here because it doesn't matter how big the piece of material on the chisel is behind the edge, as long as the edge is at the angle that cuts and it's uh, finely polished, that's all you need. So for a start, do as little as possible and it's easier to get a new edge every time you come back to this stone. So you can do it more often without going to the grinder to grind the fresh bevel back. So your chisels will last a little bit longer. Before we go to use it, uh, you can go old school and use your hand just to strop it. Just, just a couple of minutes of back and forth like that. So you're, you're working that edge. So you're almost polishing the edge of the chisel over your hand. So the, the sort of the abrasive of your skin, so the hardness of your skin is sort of like a very fine abrasive to work any uh, burrs off of the metal and just to um, polish that edge. If you don't want to use your hand, be sensitive. Um, keep it in a leather pouch like this. You can always run a bit of honing compound on this. Uh, it'll always stay on there and uh, just back and forth, back and forth. So bevel, face, bevel, face. Doesn't take much at all. 20 times maybe. You know. It's nothing. And then uh, you should be able to uh, shave with that edge. I'm just going to work that a little bit more, it's not quite sharp enough for my liking yet. Perhaps I'm not pressing quite hard enough. But the, the sharpness of the edge comes from the, the light, last few strokes on here that are very light and uh, the polishing of that bevel on the uh, leather. If you're in the workshop you can use the uh, Tormek, the leather wheel on the Tormek to polish the edge back and forth and that will give you your sharpness. But, uh, Nine times out of ten, you're going to be uh, at the bench and quickly just giving it a, a quick sharpener for on site is when you're most likely going to need to sharpen your chisels um, using the diamond stone, and uh, all you're going to have is your leather pad. So, yeah, just uh, work that nice and put lots of pressure on it and get a nice polished edge. You can see the edge on there, just a nice little polish on that bevel if you can get it to reflect the light. What we're looking for it should just uh, be sharp enough to be able to shave with it. So it should take the hairs off your hand, like so. If your chisel's sharp enough to uh, to shave your uh, your hand like that, or take any hair off, that's sharp enough for working. It's sharp enough for chopping in hinges, etc., etc. Um, Any time you might need a slightly sharper chisel than that, it's sort of if you're doing finished carving or anything like that, uh, you want a really highly polished edge, but uh, for your general woodwork and joinery sort of sharpness, uh, that process that takes a couple of minutes is uh, more than good enough. You just want to test the uh, edge that you've just cut, then um, pop a bit of uh, wooden device and uh, just run it across the end grain a couple of times and it'll give you a nice uh, indication as to the sharpness of the chisel. So we've got a piece of a coir here, which is uh, notoriously difficult to chisel across the end grain, and uh, it's, it's flying through it with no trouble at all. Okay, so I've uh, showed you the Tormek method that I use now. This bad boy is how I used to do it. So if you're sitting there thinking, oh, it's all very well and easy when you've got the uh, the three, 400 quid machine to sharpen your chisels, then uh, that's not how it's always been. Um, 
I don't know how much this was. I think it was probably free from someone, but uh, I'm sure they're not very expensive. It's just a stone grinder, wet and dry. So you've got a, a normal dry bench grinder disc here, and then you've got your uh, slower wet grinding disc here. Um, and what I used to do was just um, clamp it in the bench. Or you could screw it down to a bench if this is all you got and you're using it all the time. Clamp it in here. And then I had a, uh, a jig that clamped over the gearbox here. I think I've chucked it out now, to be fair. Clamped over here, and it just held the uh, a board across here at the uh, 35 degree bevel. And um, your chisels would hold onto the board, and you'd just grind them away until you reached, uh, reached a point where there was no uh, damaged edge on the chisel, and your bevel was flat all the way across. So... Um, I don't know what these are, I'll have a look on the uh, thing and put it in the description how much these cost, but uh, they're nowhere near the cost of a Tormek and uh, it will get you that uh, nice grind back on your chisel without heating the uh, the metal up. You don't want to be using the uh, high speed grinding wheel because uh, it will heat the edge of the chisel and as soon as that edge has uh, lost its temper tempering, um, as soon as you go to cut into anything hard, it will just chip the... Uh, edge away and you, you won't be cutting anymore so you've got to keep it nice and cool while you're grinding that bevel back and these are the the types of wheels that you need uh, to achieve that okay so uh, i'll just take you through the process once more so ground the chisel back to a flat bevel that's the important part for the starting point um, and then just work the uh, two edges until you've got a nice fine edge using the uh, diamond stone The grind on the Tormek is pretty much good enough for this back edge, but uh, any other sharpening system, you're going to be wanting to use this stone to get that right up to the edge. And then just uh, a couple of strokes on the uh, back of the chisel, so the bevel. And as you progress, just get lighter and lighter with your touch. And then uh, rub that bevel over so it's uh, on the on this back edge of the chisel. And then in a forward motion, put the chisel down, and it will cut uh, cut the burrs off. And then straight onto your piece of leather or your hand, and uh, lots of pressure and uh, work it back and forth and polish the edge. Don't ever go into the leather in this direction. Make sure you're always pulling it back away from the edge as you uh, push it down onto the leather. And uh, just do that until you've got a edge that's uh, sharp enough for your liking. There we go. Thank you very much for watching and uh, look out for the next video.